Hello everybody, and this is Mr. Muller here, and I just wanted to do a quick video for y'all about how to use Miro, that digital whiteboard that I started using on Google Meets. Uh, you know, Google Meet used to have a whiteboard built into it, but ever since they discontinued Jamboard, uh, that whiteboard went away. So, I went looking our last eLearn day, because I was like, there's got to be something, and I found Miro. I, I just searched, you know, like digital online whiteboard, and it's the first thing that popped up. So I went looking, and now uh, first time you go to a site, it'll say, you know, oh, sign up with. And so I signed up, and I chose my Google account to sign up with, and it was right as rain. It was nice and easy peasy. And now I was told that the free version, you're only allowed up to three whiteboards at a time. But I'm being completely honest with you, I probably will just use the same whiteboard over and over and over again. But it is good to know that if you're teaching multiple subjects and you want to like prep three different whiteboards for three things during the day, you can do that. So that's nice to know. So I can go in here and I can explore. I have some things on this one, uh, but it's nice and easy. All right, as you can see, I can zoom out. I can drag and just kind of like move myself around here. I can zoom in. All right, I got an eraser feature here. So if I don't like some of my purple scribbles, I can erase them. You can add text boxes, all those wonderful things. You know, text box, you'll notice, won't erase. But if I go and I click on it, I can hit delete and poof, it's gone. Uh, it does have these adorable little post-it notes that, you know, you can type on. And, um, you know, they come in different colors, so I can go here and I can add a green one or a purple one, and I can have fun with those all day. Uh, a lot of the time I use the pen tool to do some math, you know, and remind my students that 5 plus 2 equals 7. And it's so funny, we were doing e-learn and I was... As you can see, working on some uh, adding and subtracting mixed fractions. And so I was calling on them to help me through it and tell me what to do. And they were going so fast, and I was like, now you got to go a little slower here because uh, I'm not that fast with the mouse here on my computer. But it was great. Now, this alone, sure, this will work just fine with Google Meet, all right? You can share this tab while you're in the meeting. Everything's honky-dory. But what if? This could be embedded into your Google Meet so you don't even need another tab open. That would be great. So I was like, let's look into it. And so I started fiddling with some settings, and I worked with the district and to get the extension unlocked. And it turns out it works wonderful. So here I am in my Google Meet. And... The first time you go to set this up, what you're going to have to do is over here, you've got this triangle, square, circle, it's activities, and you're going to click on that, and now yours won't show Miro right away, okay, so you need to hit that plus button for get add-ons, and you'll type in Miro, it'll show up right there, and you can click to install it, wonderful. Once it's installed... Then you can go and you can click on it here in that activities window. Once again, the triangle, square, circle. Now, it will pop up any boards you've saved that you've worked on previously, or you can start a new board if you're in that three board limit. If not, load up a previous board and just erase everything on it. No problem. So I'm just going to go to cheeseburgers here. Now, one thing I'll say, you know, for the elementary students is, and even probably for the secondary, like the high school students with their device, with the uh, high school devices, they probably don't have this extension allowed, all right? Staff do. So for visitors, it's not quite collaborative yet, all right? So I just keep it on can view. Even if you have it on can edit, the students really can't manipulate because they don't have this extension on it. They can see it, but they can't mess with it. So if you're looking for something a little more collaborative, like you're teaching and you're like, go ahead and put that on our whiteboard, you probably want to keep looking, all right? That might be something else. But then I click Embed Board. And from here, once you get to here, you do have to say Share This Screen. And we say Allow. And then poof, it's right there. And everybody can join in and look at this. And I have all the same options. I got my beautiful color post-it notes that I love. And I can do my draw. Now, it does shrink a bit here, so I have to click on this plus 
to find my other things like my pen. All right, but once I have it, I can draw myself a little smiley face right there. And anything that I do here does save to the main Miro account. All right, so that's good to know as well. And so I just thought this was the coolest thing since sliced bread, and it really helped me out for our first e-learning day, you know, when I wanted to keep doing my lessons of adding and subtracting mixed numbers. We had ourselves a blast. So if you have any questions or if you find out some awesome feature about this that I didn't know, go ahead and, you know, send me an email and be like, hey, Dave, did you know I could do this? And I'll probably go, no, I didn't. But that is pretty cool. All right. Y'all have yourselves a great day.